Runner version 10. Visualize your data. Good day everybody. Corey here with the second tutorial on data visualization. In this tutorial, we will start customizing the chart that was built in tutorial 1. Please make sure you have seen it, as this tutorial will make a lot more sense once you have. This entire series is available under the channel playlist called Data Visualization. Thank you very much XLineSoft for this amazing software. Please go and visit the website and obtain your copy if you haven't done so already. In this tutorial we are going to focus on the chart title. Here in PHP Runner, on the tables view, you can see the data set for this chart. We did select combined. And in the header section over here, you can see that we have set the chart title as sales count per day. Now to customize the chart title, I'm going to jump straight to my events section of this chart. And here on the JavaScript chart modify event, this is where we will customize this title. Please note the chart object that's already created for us in PHP Runner that we are going to use to modify the title. In order to customize the chart title, we will have to enable the title control. Now that the title control is enabled, we can set the title to any text we like. You can see here, I have set it to, you can name it, anything. Please note that this overrides the text you supplied in the header section during chart setup. As you can see, the title has changed accordingly. Now we are going to apply some text settings. First, we are going to change the font. The default font is set to Verdana, but you can amend it with the following code. You will note the font family, and I set it to that. Some more fonts here that you can go and play with. Let's change the font size to 28. Okay, the size is probably way too big now, but I am going to leave it like this for the purpose of this tutorial. Next up, let's change the font color to orange. This is the HTML code for orange, but you can simply go and put red in here, that will work as well. Okay, so now the text is orange. So let's see if we can underline it. Now to underline it, you can use the skirt. Please note that the font decoration are able to accept other parameters as well. You simply change the underline to one of the following. You can use line through, overline, blink, but this doesn't work on all browsers and none that will simply cancel all decorations. And as you can see, it's now underlined. So next we are going to change the background of the chart title. Just like I had to enable the title control, I also have to enable the background control. You do it like this. This is sometimes easy to understand if you read it from back to front. What I mean is, it's true that I want to enable the background of the title on this chart. Now that the background control is enabled, we can now fill it with any color. Please note the HTML color code again, and the 02 over here is simply the color opacity. You will now see a very light gray as a background on this title. Okay, so let's add a border to the background. You do this by means of the stroke method. Again, just the code 
of a light blue for the border. And as you can see now, the background has a blue border. Finally, I'm going to add rounded corners to this border. The 5 over here is just the radius in pixels that I want my corners to be. And as you can see, the border corners is actually now rounded. So in general, I think this covers more or less most aspects of customizing the chart title. Please don't hesitate to ask me if you can think of something that I did not demonstrate over here. Hopefully this was helping somebody. Please remember to subscribe and to enable notifications as I already started to plan tutorial number 3 for this series. There is also a link in the description where you will be able to go and copy the code that I explained in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time.